Hello. Welcome to my podcast. My name is. I don't know what to say. I don't, honestly, okay. Unless Bad you have a podcast, oh, well, Hold on, it's should, up to you. Should, should I say like my real name or like my like my like Ruff my internet? Hundred one Ruff. Okay, let's go with that. My name is my name is Ruff twenty one hundred. Um, I don't know if I'll post this on my YouTube or whatever, but um, today I'm here with my friend Brandon Hi. and my friend David. Um, this is my first episode, so I'm real excited. We're excited. Um, I'll try to post weekly. Hopefully, I do have a lot of time on my hands. So, um, so yeah. So, how was you guys' day? Good, good. Been great. Been great. Good. All right. So, um, I haven't seen I haven't seen you in a while, David. Yeah, I haven't, haven't seen. seen I haven't talked to anyone in a while. So I've been on my own for a bit. Damn, David. Okay, come up a little closer to the mic. Like this close? Yeah. So you move me, move the pop filter, Brent. Like to closer to the mic and yeah, come close to like the mic. You can move the mic towards you. Like yeah. that way you don't uh, have to so get like, close. Like, like that. that? Yeah, you like, can be like that. Uh, so yeah, you sound good. You sound good. Uh, so yeah, so I think the last time I saw you, David, was like 2019, right? Yeah, before COVID started and shit. Yeah, 2019. The last time we saw each other was like the last fucking time I went with you. Was when I, sp- oh, fuck. With I, you told me to help you with something, and that was the last thing I heard from you. I think was it the video? I think no, I, it wasn't the video. I remember asking you for a video game. It was like, um, what, what video game was it? It was the Pokemon Sword. Sword. Ah, Pokemon Sword Shield. Shield. Yeah, and I fucking gave you Sword. Yeah. And then uh, fucking that's when. So you gave it to me back. I lent you the copy, and you came and you gave me the copy back. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, so that was. 2020 then 2020? yeah 2020 no Damn. 2020 because uh, th- at that time i was talking to my now wife at that yeah, time yeah, and she yeah, wanted yeah. to play pokemon and shit but um oh yeah i remember that so i've pretty much known you guys since like freshman year right yeah, yeah freshman pre- year yeah but i've known yeah. like some of the other guys like elian from pre-k like in pre-k that's crazy dude i can't uh, rogelio diaz what? i've fucking seen them from since pre-k too what what happened to him? He's fucking, fucking. He's still fucking on, dude. He's, yeah. he's still playing and shit. He's still on playing. The, like he invited me to a Discord and shit. And, like uh, we posted some memes. I posted some innocent that we shit there, but like whatever. Uh, Damn. No, okay. some hentai. No, I put some gif. <laughs> the fuck, uh, but um. So, I remember from high school, like, oh, like I think my freshman year, like I would hang out with you guys, but then like sophomore year i think sophomore and junior year i was like hanging out with like gilbert and shit like yeah you fucking so, you get, it wasn't oh, yeah. like, senior good. year and like senior to junior year like fucking those two that's when i started hanging out with you more because like i fucking cussed a lot of trouble yeah it, well, yeah i remember that shit like that's when i was like ruined to like weed like i was smoking weed with them like pretty much like every not every day but it was like i want to say every other day I, I would say maybe like every weekend i would like Smoke, like, smoke, smoke with them, them smoke yeah. and shit. Smoke, like, dude, we would get fucking... You get fucked up? Uh, yeah, we would get real Oh, so the two of you have gone yeah. fucked up. I haven't so, gone fucked up. I don't drink nor smoke. Yeah, really? What? You don't yeah. drink what? or smoke? Like, only, on a, in, only when I see it's something that's, like, palpable for me, and then I'll drink it. But I haven't... The only thing I smoke is, like, the fucking cigar, and that's it. Only on work. Oh, but, like, you don't really, like, inhale a in, uh, cigar. Like, you, that's... Like, yeah, I don't really inhale that shit. Yeah, like, you fucking... I puff that shit up like the fucking... When you had a fucking uh, naked stick, the fucking thing, the vape, the vape, yeah, yeah. I didn't but fucking, I just, cause like, <laughs> with, with the vape, I would, dude, I used to be like real addicted to like a vape. Yeah, cause it's nicotine. the nicotine. Yeah. That like nicotine the, got you addicted to this shit. Yeah, like mm-hmm. the the fucking jewel when the jewel was like real popular. Popular. This guy. Um, this guy. How was that, bro? <laughs> I remember. Dude. I fucking saw some fucking videos where some kids would get pissed if you took their jewels and shit. No, yeah. No, that shit. I remember. Yeah. I, oh, dude, I remember I remember the time where, like, I first tried it. I was working at Denny's as a server. Oh, yeah. I fucking remember that when the fucking, your cousin discount. Yeah. And, um, man, it was so crazy. I fucking, uh, my friend, which was also a server at the time, he, he offered it to me like he's like hey you want to take it like a little puff just just inhale it or whatever and i'm just like um like i don't know what like i mean i was i was so used to like smoking weed or whatever the fuck i never really thought about like vaping vaping like, nicotine or whatever 
um so like i tried it and i inhaled it like like a fuck time dude like i, I t- like you know remember that uh saying where it's like oh you like you hit a blinker you know like you <laughs> make the shit blink like it's all rainbow and shit yeah um that's what i did i hit a blinker right and so like i got really fucked up on nicotine. like at first like like i like got a real like nicotine high like nicotine and, high. and after that like i was hooked dude because like I, I stayed off of the weed at that time i didn't want to smoke got, any weed so that's why you got hooked because you were yearning for something yeah like um yeah because like now now when i like last time like when i tried smoking weed again like I, it wasn't the same like you, after you i got arrested oh, shit. um like after I got arrested, like I, I would always have like bad trips and shit. So like I don't oh, really, like, want to so, smoke. Oh, that is because ever since you fucking smoke, you're gonna always associate that shit with a bad trip. So if you want to so, get a good trip, you gotta be in a place and not think about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, yeah, and I would like, I mean, when I when I got arrested, uh, we live in Texas, guys. We live in Texas, just down south. There you got down south in the valley. Um, so weed is illegal in our state, so yeah. it fucking sucks. Um, I fucking man, I remember I was so fucked up, and we smoked like here, uh, there in Las Lomas. Like the, it's like a, Las Lomas is a real like ghetto like place. Like, like it's mm-hmm. like the ghetto of where we live. So it had like a little park there and like a little bench for like um, like a little uh, fucking what's it called? Oh, like a, roof and chin. Like it had like park. a roof on it. Yeah. So we were uh, sm- um, smoking there. Like it was like real late at night. I got super fucking high off of like um yeah. If you guys know the ones that are that are listening to this podcast, uh Gorilla Glue, that was the the strain of the yeah, dude, it really mm. fucked me up. I remember oh my it. it God, yeah, bro. it really fucked me up and I was so fucking high and I and I didn't even know what was going on when when the cops pulled up. I was like, fuck, Shoot. I was panicking. Damn. But um I want to circle back to to uh, high school. High school. Yeah, um, I want to get. We almost got arrested when we went to fucking abandoned building. Was that before or after you got arrested? When, when uh, that was before. I think. Yeah, that was before. Yeah, I yeah think that, that was before, before because you, the police just stopped you and just checked your ID and let, let us go and shit. That you fucking sweet talk the police, man. No, that was uh, I, a real fucking. I, I they real, put us like, in the back of the car too. I buttered his ass up, dude. You I fucking, made him fucking. Oh, yeah, and you were like, was like oh, this you is, were risking the fucker up, dude. He, he was like, he was like, yeah, True he's a real stand up guy right here, so I gotta let him go. But um, nah, that shit. Uh, I think I don't remember that honestly. Like I barely remember. That. Yeah, I remember cop pulling up and shit, but that's. That's about pretty it. Pretty much to the extent of it. I don't remember anything else of, of, about that night. But um, get, getting back to like high school and shit, and like with you and um, the group, with you and the, the group, group I, I, you you were like, um, I would say like you were kind of like the like the funny weird one of you, the yeah, you, I know. Uh, of the of the I group. was a fucking weird motherfucker too. Yeah, you like um, I know. Like I know you don't want to like I know you don't want to talk about this, but like I gotta bring it up because like it's just <laughs> like such a big part. Like when it, when you, you when you told us like at the time like that you were you didn't think about like, it. Like I was like holy shit like the fuck like I didn't expect it right. So you're a furry right? Yeah. So uh, that's why you like you want like that's why you have the mask on because you don't want uh. like you don't want uh, anybody. That knows. No, like not that many the people, channel. right? Because because uh, only the group and I think some because I think when I told you guys, I think I said all out. So I think the whole school knew you when think, I said that no, shit. No. So you you think the ho- you think the whole school knew like at the time like that you were like a furry like, like after you came out like to us. Like, yeah, I think it was a bit later that I started to hear like oh there was some furries that's going on, mm-hmm. probably me or some other guy because like there was not many because like I don't think the other guy was like. Ugh. Didn't you sit on a channel of Buffy that you were filming on a channel? What no. do you mean? On your on your uh, what video, the third video? No, I didn't say anything. When you whoop him? What? Oh, it was only the yeah. fucking bad dragon oh, tattoo. Oh, that, that the bad dragon. Oh yeah, when I lost the game of Uno and I yeah, had and you got yeah, a yeah, yeah. bad dragon tattoo. Yeah, and a lot of the fucking furries are gonna know what that is. Also, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm that. a straight furry. I'm not a gay one, so very much rare. Okay, straight straight furry. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Cause most of them end up being bisexual, or gay, okay. like that, bro. To 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 me, that's like so crazy because, um, like I just like to me, like I don't get it, you know. Like I mean, like I, I would say, like I'm a pretty normal guy. Like, um, 
I would say like in the past I probably like jacked off to like like a hentai. couple times to like hentai or whatever the fuck but like like to that extent where like they make like a humanoid like wolf and, and like and they, like you know they got the fucking pussy lips out there and shit on the wolf and shit I, I don't know <laughs> like to me it's like it's so insane so insane um, it's, it's, it's because there's two parts of the fucking thing there's of the two, fandom th- yeah that's what yeah that's what you would always tell me like there's there's two parts of the fandom um there's the one that do the there's a the, there's the a sexual, sexual side and yeah. then there's the one that it's playful playful and all that but like the sexual side it's mostly towards uh consent and adults and it's mostly that when they have a convention because like i think they have a convention here Mm -hmm. but when they have a convention here the section that has the adult will actually have a sign like hey 18 plus and like no minors allowed and even then like a lot of them say in their fucking profiles like no minor allowed for uh nsfw art and shit so it's mostly mostly adults that do that wait so they have a they have a convention here at in, uh, in Texas, the, yeah, they can have uh, here in McAllen. In McAllen, I think it's Furry Fiesta Texas. Shit. Furry Fiesta Texas, because I know they have Anime Fiesta. I went yeah. to it. No, I think no, I haven't gone to it. I, oh yeah, I remember there was a I convention went, here that went here, I've and I actually saw a fursuit. Really? Yeah, I actually saw a fursuit. Did Did you go up to that person and ask him like, hey, a picture or something? No, that was no. that was when I was like. To, like looking at the fandom and see what I liked and shit. But I'm gonna tell you so, something. Motherfuckers that have the fucking fursuit are fucking. They can receive the heat, bro. Cause like wearing that shit can heat up, bro. They can have shit like this in the mask okay. and like undersuits, yeah. and the fucking fur and matted. And here in Texas, Oof. dude, oh, and they can walk that. on those bitches for Hell hours. Hell no, no I can't Texas do that. Texas. Yeah, and some of them walk for them in hours, and some of them actually have puffy. Like they end up being more puffier, so they end up being more heavier and more fur and yeah more heat yeah but some of them are actually pretty smart because in their mask they have fans and shit and they have cooling vests really? too they have fa- damn dude, oh, fucking but there's only one downside for having most of the masks that you see okay but for those that know the fucking furries protegents and skull dogs are the ones that have the more vision because you literally can see through your eyes and the protegent is literally just a big ass glass in front of your face so you can see everything but everything other but every other fursuit you have limited fucking vision. So, so that's why you have something called a hander with you. If you're going to wear a fur- full on fursuit, you have a hander to help you out to see stairs and all that. Because like, you have limited vision and being hot and like, you're just have a limited vision. It's ass. Wait, so, so they, they call, wait, so they call people that help you out like handlers. Yes. That's handlers. The, yeah. So kind of they like, hand you the water everything like they have your stuff oh, in the okay. suit, you don't have yeah. pockets it's just you and your suit and the handler has your backpack water like taking pictures for you and all that and it, all you have is the first suit and the badges that you can have oh fuck. To your character and all that that's all you can have and the limited vision is ass so i would, if, I would not want to be in a fursuit down here in texas like fuck no that's why i want to try to get a par- partial one a partial one yeah i feel like a full uh, one is full blown one it's in it like takes time to be able to wear fully and you also you gotta take care of it because like it, it just like any other piece of clothing it can you can wash you have to wash it because it will get like it messy yeah that's ah, dude that's insane. and sometimes you have to wash it by hand Shit. okay yeah no I, no i can't do that but and only some I, you can put in the washer I, I, it's crazy because like I see people like you know with like the fursuits and like the the cosplay and like should they go like real like um, they go in do they go ham on the on the yeah, cosplay they go real like it's you know, like there, just you know? cosplaying you're, like your favorite anime character is the same thing with your fursuit yeah. with a furry it's just their OCs like playing out it's mostly to like relax and actually pretty interesting one of the people that uh made the coronavirus like vaccine was actually a furry and most furries are actually doctors and i heard this joke wait, that wait, wait wait wait, hold on wait i'm so sorry did you say that the guy no the person the person that made the vaccine for covid is a furry yeah that made the breakthrough yeah that made the breakthrough yeah is a fucking furry and they have a twitter too yeah. Shut the fuck up, really? Yeah. Um, dude, I, I gotta remember the Twitter, but... Dude, that's uh, insane. Dude, because, uh, like, I heard this joke that for only inside furries that yeah. if there's a plane full of furries and it gets, like, something happens to the plane, 
uh, society would revert a little bit because most of them are like engineers, like really high up engineers, doctors, surgeons. Like that's why they have so much money because they have like they're engineers. They fucking do everything like so fucking rich. Yeah. Because they actually have a very big professions, and you just see someone go ooh ooh ooh, or whatever in the little <laughs> suit in the convention, <laughs> and then you <laughs> find out fuck. that he's a fucking engineer just, for NASA. Oh my god, they got rich ass parents, fucking making uh, engines and jet engines, fucking Dude, rocket that, engines. That was his one furry, I think. Furry. I don't remember his name, but like he went to space. He was the first, the first furry to went to space, and he had he was a purple cat, I remember. And he actually worked for NASA and was an astronaut and actually went to space. In a furry costume? No, not furry costume, oh. but, like, it was the first, like, oh, people. Yeah. But, like, he does have a fucking TikTok and all that. But, like, most, really? stuff, most of the wow. furries that, if furries are watching this, they're going to instantly know who I'm talking about. I think, I, I, feel like, uh, I feel like the whole furry community is, like, so strong, you know? Like, I feel like you guys are, like, real, like, you know, like, anything happens, you know, any discrimination yeah, it's mostly against like, you guys. Like, you guys are there for each other and shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, the fur fandom is mostly mo- made up as with the LGBTQ, too, as well. Really? What? So, there's a I lot of trans oh, and all I that. See. I and see. so, that's why being a okay. straight furry, like, male or female, it's very hard for you to get in. Really? Yeah. I didn't... So, so if you're, like, a sh- just a straight shooter, like, you, and... So, it's, like, hard for you to get into, like, those kind of, like, circles and shit? Like... Not really. You can just be friends with them and all that. Oh, okay. But, like looking for a relationship and all those stuff it's like oh i'm pan and all that shit because my brother oh, is actually shit. a bisexual furry so most of the fandom applies to him seeing being a bisexual male oh he shit. enters more so, he's he has more options in the fandom i don't oh shit i see so okay so your your brother and also like okay that's crazy when you told me that your brother was bisexual in the past i was like holy fuck like um I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not trying to offend your brother or anything but like when we were in school like he had like mostly like chick uh chick friends dude mm-hmm. he, he was mostly friends with girls and i was just like holy shit like either this guy is like has some fucking game dude or he's he you know he's packing. He, he swings for the for yeah this, uh, he does then yeah he actually wait. told me he actually had a crush in one of the girls in the group but like really oh yeah. shit who was it uh, <laughs> we're not uh, okay we're not gonna okay hold on i mean i'm pretty sure nobody from fucking school is gonna find this uh, this podcast uh, and like i don't remember talking her about name though but like i don't remember but like they were good friends and like they she said nah like i don't see you that way i'm uh, i'm but trying like, to understand the friend zone. i'm trying to remember the friend group mm-hmm. his friend group well the one with glasses and brown eyes so short i mean brown hair she was kind of tall. Kind of tall, yeah. Oh, she was I don't like, remember her she name. She had like a slim frame, I would yeah, say. Yeah, slim frame, yeah. Okay, I think I know who it is. And I then not only that, one because my brother in, in school, like sometimes fucking freshmen and all that will go to him asking for me because you know how I got fucking pills for myself. And people would ask me, like, they would go to my brother and like, hey, where's your brother so I can buy some pills off of him or some shit like that? And like, no. Because like, some like they went up to him instead of going up to me. The main supply. Cause, cause you wanted. Uh, cause they wanted. Cause, wait, cause they wanted pills. pills? Yeah, cause like I would they, used to get pills. David. Pills for what? Zochas. What the fuck? You would sell that in school? I don't sell that. I would buy it from a guy. You would buy it from a guy. And I would take them. You know Cindy? He will also get some I, with me. Who the fuck is Cindy? Cindiente Juan. <laughs> remember? Nick, Nick oh, shit. Cindy. Cindy, bro. I remember they got, yeah, Juan Flores. Yeah, like, in fucking, that, it was the last class, too. So, after school, we would buy it, and, like, we would split it in two, and he would take the other half, and I would take one half. Shit. Oh, Boy. shit. What the fuck? So, I didn't know you would, I didn't know you would take drugs in school. I mean, I would, I would take some pills. I honestly forgot what fucking pills it they was. It was probably the same thing that we it had. It was probably like, the same shit. The, yeah. Yeah. But, like, dude, they, they fucking sucked ass. I mean, dude. the only thing they would do is, like, just make you sleepy. That's dude, that's what it. I was going to say. They only make you sleepy. Yeah, they only made you sleepy. So it was mostly like, to fucking spike drinks, I think. That's why. But, like, the guy fucking didn't care. He just would sell them. It's like, I mean, that shit was kind of fucking stupid. The like, only I reason I would took him is because I could never get good sleep. So that's why I took oh, him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. Oh, okay. No, I just, I think, I think I took it maybe, like, a couple times and took some pills like a couple times no a few times and and that was it dude i feel like 
they weren't really they Pretty wouldn't cool. i didn't really like the high quote-unquote high, high of it but i mean um yeah i would mostly stick with weed and shit i mean i did try acid when i was like fuck dude i want to try edibles yeah i was like tw- yeah in my 20s dude I, was, I mean i was 20 yeah i tried acid i did acid that shit was crazy i mean you've done mushrooms i did man. shrooms yeah you did fucking shrooms Come a little clo- put that uh, mic a little closer to you like, like that like yeah yeah, there you go. Fucking yeah. motherfucker did shrooms. <laughs> I shrooms. I didn't have like four people or like two people. It was too much. It was like literally like oh, b- half of this bag, oh. like, half of it, like smaller. And I ate it all. My brother ate it all. So uh, how, how much would you, say, how many grams would you say of it? Like yeah, that's, like, that's like probably 10 grams. 10 grams oh. of? 10 grams of shrooms. They're like, fuck, dude. Like, Damn. I fucked up. You, you ate the whole like 10 the whole, grams it takes and, like shit. and one sitting like shit. and, and yeah. fucking one sitting one sitting dude you're asking for what, it what did you see like what what okay. what kind of high did you have i had like a good high and a bad high right i was outside okay. my mind was tripping i thought i was inside like i felt like i was inside <laughs> but i was outside walking so i was like Damn. tripping my balls out so when i was inside i thought i was outside again holy so shit I started seeing someone walking towards me but it was me outside when i was inside I was tripping out balls deep. Like, I think you were acid right. projecting too, because like you said, we're saying that shit. Because like you were fucking two different places at yeah, once. once. Yeah, so I was. Yeah, you were fucking yeah. tripping the fuck oh, out. No, no, are bad. Don't be scared oh, of the mic, dude. Don't be scared. It ain't, it ain't gonna bite if you. <laughs> if you want, you can like kind of like move it like like that. You know. Like, it ain't gonna bite, bro. I, I, like fuck. Good? I've heard some pretty bad trips. Shrooms, yeah. Yeah, there you go, Brandon. There it's, you go. Well, like, we saw the shrooms one day. I'm actually. You know what? I'm actually down to do shrooms because i've always wanted to do like either like dmt or like you yeah know, i want to try just edibles i don't want to try too or much crazy yeah. shit i would okay yeah because you haven't really done anything right? not because really done anything yeah. so i would just like once sl- the medium low because like i don't want to fucking like fucking crack and shit fucking snow crack and fucking nah, nah, that mind. Stuff, nah, that's nah, fuck, nah. yeah no nah, fuck cr- no nah, yeah, yeah fuck crack no nah, but like to start like doing that doing that shit i'm gonna start small and shit don't want to fucking immediately into acid and shit so edible shrooms yeah then. <laughs> yeah that's I, um it was yeah i think the furthest i mean i think that's like the hardest drug i've taken would probably acid i feel like oh no well i did okay i did snort cocaine one time oh damn. just one just one time it was like a little bump um and still fucked you up right it was like dude it was like the tiniest amount <laughs> of of fucking uh crack a fucking no not crack it was cocaine cocaine you know, crack cocaine <laughs> um i was i was at a friend's house we were smoking and well it was a it was a barbecue actually like he invited me over oh, to, uh, for a barbecue and shit and uh a friend of his came over we done. also and uh, i knew him I knew him, but not like too well. I would say. Yeah, I but he was. I mean, we we were like kind of cool. You acquainted yourself with him. Yeah, yeah, we were kind of cool. Um, I did get to know him like more. Like later on, we did become friends. I would say a little more. But um, I would say yeah. So he he comes. Uh, I see that they were fucking snorting cocaine, right? I fuck. I mean, I knew it was cocaine. It was pretty obvious, right? I mean, what else do you fucking snort up your nose, right? Like fucking. So, uh, we were high. Like at that at that point, and I was he he asked me he's like he's like hey you wanna you wanna uh, you want some like you wanna snort some and I was just like dude like fuck that's crazy I don't know like I was kind of I was reluctant at first but then I was you like you know, he didn't he didn't he didn't peer pressure me but you caved in like my yeah like um like my thought process was like okay I want to like I want to try you know just this once just one time fuck it you know get out of the way experience seven chin yeah and so I I fucking he had like a fucking guitar pick dude and so i got like the tiniest fucking amount like on the tip of the uh, guitar pick and i fucking snorted snorted, yeah like and that's pretty much pretty much it i didn't feel anything um Mm. so i didn't really get like the whole experience buzz yeah like the the whole like experience of Mm. cocaine but i mean i would never do it again honestly like fuck cocaine um that shit's really addicting it's like crack whatever but fuck that shit um Oh, oh yeah, Brandon. Let's get back to your whole mushroom oh. shit. I'm sorry. So, about with you? mushrooms, dude. So you said that you were Into you were outside, I, but I was inside. But you were inside. Yeah. And so, like, you were just going th- through like a whole loop or what? Like, like whole trip. Yeah, I'm like, holy shit, mind tripping. I was outside, inside, outside. Like, what the fuck am I? Holy There's fuck. that point. 
I was laying down and then had negative thoughts like I have thoughts like what if we die we become animals we die again we become animals what we die again we become the next animal so I could just die, die today and just give a fuck I become an animal I become a human oh, like, I see myself as another uh, so you had that thought process where you were you wandered off and shit and you were wandering off no it took, that was a bad trip of mine because I like what the fuck why no I get like, you so I get you I definitely get you what the fuck man <laughs> it's it's crazy. Crazy. I mean when I was tripping out fast I mean like um, I would just see like the walls melting and shit. It wasn't. I wouldn't say yeah, it was I've like too hard of a trip. Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't like, say it wasn't too hard of a trip. But like you, know, you see the walls melting. You're just laying there like fucking. It's true. You can see colors. Like you know how people say you see colors. And it's, some, some people. I didn't see colors. To be honest, I didn't see colors. Um, like I, I was watching TV and that shit was like warping, dude. Like that fucking. Yeah, like, like that's fucking. mostly the, what the acid like it warps and I've seen like. But some yeah. some people just take a shit hole and their entire world is just melting and they're just like. Wow. One one crazy thing about acid I remember was, um, I was laying down. I mean, not laying down. I was I was sitting up. Um, I was sitting against the wall, on the bed, and um, I noticed that my heartbeat was really fucking slow. I didn't have a heart monitor. I wish I did, so I could see how. But that shit was really fucking slow, and I was so calm. I felt like like I was so like um, tone like. Like at peace at with myself, with yeah. And shit. I was, like I felt so like, uh, um, what's it called? So relaxed. calm and relaxed and fucking uh, like everything felt so beautiful. Dude. Like I don't know, and um, and that shit lasted twelve hours, dude. At um, before um, what's it called? Before the trip ended, like at some point dude i remember like i was my fingertips were so fucking sensitive like can, i i would touch anything dude i would touch anything and my fucking like it felt like it's so sensitive dude like i don't know it was like so weird your, your senses so, got heightened and shit yeah my senses got heightened like they were it, going haywire yeah and so dude i remember fuck and and i had and the thing is i took that shit like almost at midnight almost midnight and i had work the next day like at four Shit. so like at four in the afternoon i was i was a i was a delivery driver for domino's oh and shit. Dude, yeah so um i uh so i remember it was like seven in the morning dude and i was thinking like fuck like it's still hitting it was still hitting pretty hard like at that time like i was like fuck like what the hell and i didn't know i should have done my research but i just took the tab like whatever like all like all stupid right and so uh i tell my friend that i was with at the time i tell him like hey like drive me to mcdonald's i'm hungry like let's go get something to eat and whatever oh, so get the munchies so i mean now nah, i was just hungry you know hungry. so uh, we go we come back dude it was like fuck it was like probably like eight or nine in the morning and i was just like dude and i was still tripping and i was like fuck dude like i have work and so i go home um I, I, I go home and I'm laying down and I cannot fucking sleep, dude. And and it was like twelve. Um it was twelve and I was just like, fuck, like I have to go to work, like fuck how am I gonna do this? Like and I felt so fucking tired, but even though like um I couldn't fall asleep. And so like I, I let my manager know, I'm like, hey, like I can't I'm not gonna be able to go into work today, I'm feeling sick, whatever. And so and so the crisis was averted, right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm good, I'm chilling. So now I could just like wait this out, whatever. And so like I was pretty much coming down already, but I couldn't just I couldn't fall asleep. And so I ended up falling asleep like around one in the afternoon. And my manager calls me like around three. She's like, she's like, hey, you need to come in. And I'm just uh, like, I'm just like, fuck. You know, remember Leslie? Yeah, remember Leslie? Yeah. She, she she called me in, dude. She called me in. And she's like, hey, you have to come in. Um, we we uh, we have nobody to cover you, so like you have to come in. And I and I told her that always sucks. And I told her I'm like I'm feeling sick, like like no, I, I don't I can't. And so she even though she's like, well, like you have to come in like or whatever she like you have to find somebody and at that time i was still like kind of brand new so like i couldn't really tell anybody to like cover me so I was, like fucked so i tell her i tell her you know okay like i'll go in right 
So that was like the worst fucking mistake, dude. I remember that shit was fucking horrible, dude. I fucked up so many times. Like, <laughs> dude, I fucked up yeah. so many times. And I at that time, driver, and so this was really bad. At, at that time, I probably had maybe like, it was my, like my first month, dude. And they were already thinking of me as like an assistant manager at the time, like promoting me to assistant manager. Damn, right? and, and that shit went out the window in that, with that day, right? Yes and wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yes and was no. that day when you left the box on top? Yes. Oh my fuck! Yes, uh, dude. That's why. It, that's why I fucking. Uh, he left a pizza box on top. So uh, that's why I'm. Getting, shut up, Brandon. I'm trying <laughs> to get to that point. You fuck, <laughs> fuck. Don't spoil the story, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to. Don't fuck this. Th- you yeah. really fucked it up. But okay, let yeah. me finish. Okay, yeah. let me finish. Brandon, God damn it, dude. Sorry. So you should say it. Um. What's it called? Yeah. So I fucking. Uh, so I go in, whatever you know. I'm about fucking ready, and I feel like. I mean, I felt like shit, dude. Honestly, like. I felt so fucking tired. Like, my brain was just fried, dude, after that. Like, that whole trip, like, my brain was just fucked, dude. Um, I was so fucked. Like, I mean, holy shit, dude. So, um, I I took a couple deliveries, and it wasn't until, like, later on at night where, like, I started fucking up real bad. Like, I, like, like fucking Brandon over here said. Hey. Uh, I left a fucking Pizza bag box. of a pe- of, of pizza bag with uh, pizzas in it and shit right? I mean, pizza box. On top of your car? it was like maybe two or three I, fr- I remember and so <laughs> I, I left it on top of my car but I remember putting it in my car yeah, that's the thing you yeah, yeah, because it trips you the fuck out like I had so. some of those times happen to me because I remember I did take a pill but I didn't know what the fuck it was because like the guy just yeah. gave it to me and, yeah, he just, he, and the whole yeah. next day I it was completely black for me like I didn't even remember shit only the next day after I was I was asking like damn this fucking Thursday let's say no and then you guys know this ain't Thursday this is fucking Friday Thursday was yesterday I'm like no it was fucking and I fucking it was just complete that day was completely blank yeah and I was like what the fuck did I took yeah it was no I was I mean drugs is just crazy man fuck yeah Yeah, and and, uh, it's a it's real fuck but um it, getting back to the, like the whole pizza thing like i left it on top of my car right and mm-hmm. so um i drive off onto the expressway and i'm going towards the delivery dude literally like n- probably like maybe i would say i was like 10 minutes away from the store until i noticed i didn't have the order with me so i was like fuck Shit. like what the fuck like where is it like i remember putting it in the my car but it wasn't there so i was like i was like holy fuck like what do i do right so i go back um i go back to the store and i don't say anything to the person. my manager at the t- yeah my manager i didn't say anything to i think it was bert it was you remember bert but yeah this is yeah yeah so yeah it was the man yeah it was the manager at the time and um no at that uh at that shift i'm sorry manager uh, running that shift late shift and so yeah i didn't say anything to him i tried looking for the the bag in the in the back of the store i thought maybe i left it over there or something or like i couldn't find it and so i was like fuck i have to like confess to him like i I don't know where i left the fucking order and so i told him i'm like dude like i lost the order right and so he looks at me and he's like he's like yeah i know I'm like, oh, okay. He's, he's like, yeah, you you left it on top of your car, dumbass. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm just like, fuck. Damn. And so, um, he shows me the fucking bag, dude. And he's like, he's like, yeah, like the, somebody called in about a fucking uh, Domino's pizza bag on on the road. And so, uh, it it was a murder scene, dude. Like this fucking shit was like somebody ran it over and fucking like it was just. Ooh all fucked and so i had to clean the bag by hand dude like it like uh, by hand clean it, get all of the sauce off of the bag and shit and, and fucking it was horrible yeah i think all pizza drivers but, are a bit like in the high cycles like when i order yeah. a pizza it didn't even come cut oh shit okay no that's uh, not the, that's what? not the delivery driver that's the uh, the no, person the inside yeah because like when i went the over CSR. there for a bit i saw the same guy and every time i looked at this guy he looked with red eyes and like fucking he looked like he didn't want to be there did he have long hair did he have long hair or i don't remember i think remember? he did okay now nah, but like I, I don't remember but like that motherfucker didn't look like he want to be there with red eyes he was like look he would just be like with a pizza like hunched over and shit, hunched over, shit. like 
Oh. Oh. Dude, I saw some. One time I saw a drool coming out of his mouth. What? Like he was like, dude, with the drool and shin. Who are you talking about? I think. Fuck, I don't know who. Oh, I think I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and I was fucking wild out. Yeah. Like, damn. So fucking. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I, ah, fuck, dude. And so, well, that's not the only time I left a bag on the car, dude. Like, later on at night, it happened more? again. Yeah, later on. And then, no, yeah. Yeah, it's, ho- it's fucking horrible. But th- this time, this time, it, it wasn't, it didn't have, though. I left it, just a bag on top uh, of the car. So you were to pick it and up. And so I fucking, yeah, I had to go pick it up, dude. And he, and he was telling me, he's like, he's like, uh, Barry, he was telling me, dude, like, what's going on, dude? Like, like, like why, why are you fucking up so much or whatever and i was just like i was just like oh dude like i was so ashamed of myself like i, I had to come clean dude i had to cl- i told him i'm like i'm fucking he, he was he was understanding okay so i told him i took acid right so yeah. you should never tell your boss no that you, you took drugs don't fucking tell the day the before don't i did you drink or fucking yeah. don't say shit like yeah that. do not do not tell your boss say, oh so, we cool we fine nothing will happen yeah and so i told him yeah i told him well he's like my age dude so like i was able to like talk to him and shit yeah so, like, like you're able to really sweet get... talk to motherfuckers if you're, you're yeah, right, if you're uh, charming enough you can try to sweet talk yeah them, you like, could, yeah like i know it's not it's bad but like come on boss you gotta understand so he yeah he he told me he's like he's like i forgot exactly what he said um but i just remember like that night just being ashamed of myself dude we ended up leaving like we we closed that day we closed like at 12 and dude i went home i knocked out dude like just fit well before i knocked out i was the same ashamed of myself i'm like fuck dude like yeah fuck like never taking acid again dude i felt like such a fucking loser yeah like, i was like fuck. you gotta make sure to call me and the weird and the weird thing about acid that it, it, i feel like it gets you like kind of like in that like kind of like mood like you know like you feel like ass like you feel like a yeah and loser like you like hey, and why do you think a lot of p- f- people that take ass are kind of like are in a, s- a very hard me- place mentally because they, they keep putting themselves in that place because of acid yeah it's fucking i don't know dude fuck drugs dude i fuck drugs have you ever done anything cre- like the shroom just shrooms shrooms and many now nah, it's been drinking blacking out from drinking. Did you you i know you were working out of state right like for a yeah. while yeah do you right. find anything out there so that you fucking before okay before we go okay let me ask you one question right so while you were out there you can be you don't want if you don't want to answer that's cool just stop popping the thing so the, i'm gonna nervous you're making me nervous okay, so, <laughs> come, come so on, bro. and you don't if you don't want to answer you don't have to i yeah. understand when you were out there where were you exactly uh street an extra street port louisiana Louisiana. Okay, so when you were out there, did you ever, at any point, uh, pay for a prostitute or an escort or an escort? I mean, no. it's the same thing, no? No comment. It's a no comment. No comment. Wow. No comment. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> just say, just say yes or no, dude. Okay, you got, you're looking a little sus. I'll take it as a yes because you said no comment. Actually, no comment. Just no comment. No comment, I guess. Yeah, Dude, I didn't know what okay. the fuck was an escort was until I told my fucking foreman what the fuck that was. It. Okay, um, right. And foreman, like escort, is like a foreman can tell you or your body can tell you what the survey is or what the website is or the, the chick's name. What? It's a website or a chick's number. Yeah, that's what. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, that's what the f- you can escort look at is. But they don't I, fuck you, right? No, yeah, no, they, like you they can have pay. To fuck you. you it's like a it's like a hooker, but yep. you get to spend like talk and all that doing all that. You I didn't know what the fuck my yeah. foreman was talking about. Like I want, I like you should get an escort. You're a young man. Like to me, you're a young man. You can go get an escort because you have a lot of money. And like, they and should. then I fucking straight up told him, I don't know what the fuck is this an escort. And he told me, you don't know what an escort is, son. <laughs> and then that's what he told me that an escort is like you get to fuck and talk. And I'm like, oh, and oh, fuck, I was so wild okay, out because like I didn't know what the fuck it was. I feel I feel like. I feel like if I was a chick, I mean, yeah, and if I, I, I pay for you, I fit. Oh, for real? <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn. Yeah, I didn't know you. <laughs> you swing that way, bro. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, oh dude, shit. You blushing. <laughs> oh, dude, he is. Dude. <laughs> Damn. Go on. <laughs> nah, but, um, fuck what I was saying. Damn, you may forget. He risen yeah, me up and shit. True. Nah. But, um, oh, yeah. If I, if I was a girl, dude, I feel like I wouldn't want to 
but you, you know like i mean it, it, if i'm if i'm getting money you know to fans? fuck you like i don't want to talk afterwards dude i just want to get the fuck out of there you want to fucking get the fuck out like i just want to fuck get out get my money and do leave yeah yeah and so like like why do girls do that you feel me like oh well, now there's like only fans and shit like now there's like only people, people from high school high school like for those yeah. type of services it's oh, because the, the reason <laughs> that i think they do it is because the more you talk to the guy that's like working kind of yeah. like me like he was mentioning i'm a single guy that like whatever if those girls like because some of those fucking guys that you know work young are alone and work by themselves and are by themselves so they feel lonely so that's why these girls talk to those type of guys because the more they talk to those guys yeah. the more money they can get yeah. they, like they, they can sweet talk more and more and more oh shit they because he's hard. not only is he single oh. he has a lot like all the money he earns is all yeah. his he's not sharing with anyone his family or his girlfriend Cause yeah because i've been there like you fucking have all the money all for yourself, bro. And that's a shit ton of money for yourself. Like, yeah, you can give them up to 700 and that's how much money they're God, thinking. So that's damn. why they keep sweet-talking the same guy. So that's why they would prefer young men who are alone. They and would sweet-talk those. Sweet-talk the fuck out of you. I mean... So you to yeah. buy them more and more and more and the more money they get. Me, honestly, like, I would never pay for... Like Services. an escort or like a prostitute. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm married. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Like, I have no interest in that, or not even before. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And like the whole OnlyFans thing, I know that shit like blew up. Like what? Like during Real COVID quick. and Fuck. shit. Like the OnlyFans yeah. yeah. blew up. Like really. A lot fucking. of people now are really horny. Even. In, Fuck. Like, I mean, dude. I mean, fuck. Ooh, Ever since the quarantine anime? happened, a, a lot of people have been more open about what they want. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I yeah. get you. Like, ah, dude. Like it's just so crazy. I feel like I hate, I hate like social media and like the whole like OnlyFans thing. Cause like, um, man, like that shit was like, fuck, dude. I feel like cause you, I mean you can meet like you can meet like a nice girl or whatever like yeah, like ten out of ten fuck, or yeah. like you can and like, they do you know, and she and she tells you like hey, you know like you feel like it's getting serious or whatever like she tells you hey, I'm doing OnlyFans. Fuck, I have an yeah. OnlyFans, and to me like that's like kind of like. A like a deal off. breaker like it, to me like that's a deal breaker because um i'm not comfortable with like someone else my see girlfriend you? you know fucking showing her body out there for like five bucks you know like a, a guy can access that shit for yeah. like five dollars or like ten dollars yeah. or whatever so it's fuck. mostly uh, some guys are okay with it it's just like some, they have to that's why they would say once that the relationship is getting serious they have to like they would say it and that's for sometimes it's a deal breaker but some times yeah. the guy would just yeah. stay just because it's my first girlfriend and i want to like so that's why they stick with it even though they don't like it some guys end up being like that and yeah. those fuckers end up being much more like after leaving the girl they end up you know being like a fucking frat Thank boy you. no yeah nah, i i mean like i don't know like would you be able to do that like like you would be able to like date like an only no i don't girl? No, no I don't like think so. I, I feel like how about yeah, you brandon yeah. you wouldn't be able to do that probably, I probably like for like a month a month at least like a month yeah like a month. nah i mean yeah. okay well i mean like you could day one i feel like but yeah like, it's don't take it too serious like i feel like it's, it's not most personal personal preference for your whether you want that or not yeah i mean but the moment you feel like, like oh go on i'm sorry you know i mean you can i mean yeah i mean you could day one right but i feel like you know don't marry him i feel like Fuck well no. it, i mean it sounds kind of fucked up right yeah but I it's feel just like that personal preferences and all that because like some of them will be okay to marry and all that shit yeah and still continue to do that shit yeah continue yeah i mean fuck dude i mean to me it's just so crazy some people um, are different some people are okay with it but by their, their girl sales themselves some some guys are okay with that and shit yeah i mean like steve would do it i mean just i mean just imagine dude being a becoming a millionaire off of selling pictures of your body online just like so that's why a lot of girls do it and also sometimes they have open relationships with multiple guys too i mean yeah yeah no you're right i'm do you mean i dude i just i don't know like it's crazy it's crazy how it's just insane like overnight you can just be I mean, yeah. it's just that so, you never know when you're gonna become then that's why most of them end up being doing that because you never know who you might be like who the next biggest OnlyFans girl would be are you are you sub to like any like OnlyFans chick no are you Brandon no don't lie to me I, 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 I should look up look look here, don't what, here, lie what, to I do. here what I do I look up the name and look up the name and put okay. news 
Okay. That's it. And sometimes there's a profile that says fapping, fapping something, and it has every single OnlyFans person nudes. So I ain't got paper shit. I said, look up the name and put nudes, and yeah, it comes up. Dude, yeah, Twitter can be a little fucked up, dude. That's kind of like that's kind of like pir- pirating, dude. Like, you, okay, well, if you're gonna look at it, dude, pay for it, dude. There's an app. There's a website. Pay for it. Nah, there's dude. a free website. <laughs> a free website. Dude, Twitter's pretty wild because I've right. seen some some of the first suit, like nurse oh, suits Twitter, with Twitter. that have a lot of dildos, and Twitter I've seen has. that in Twitter. Holy shit! Twitter has everything. I've seen some of them, and like, what, it's pretty insane. What the whole like furry dildo thing, like. You have some fucking weird ones, dude. Like yeah. the whole like they like have I like seen a tentacle girl, and shit. I seen like someone that has this in Twitter, uh the full body, them doing it with a dildo and then like God, you can subscribe dude. to my Patreon and that's how people get hooked because you get to see how she looks while doing it with a dildo. Yeah. So that's why it's like you get to see it and then that's what some people get hooked on it and then subscribe to her. Like, I've um, seen it, I only seen the free stuff yeah. in Twitter because like you can see some pretty wild yeah. shit in Twitter. No, I get you. yeah. <laughs> Twitter. No, I mean, yeah, Twitter's wild. I mean, not with Elon Musk and shit, like, not yeah. running things, but, I mean, fuck. I mean, even before then, it was still pretty fucking it's, wild. Yeah, like, you can still see before, yeah. a lot of nude shit and a lot of wild, a lot of sexual shit. No, fuck, yeah. Um, damn, it's 11, 14. Uh, let's keep it, uh, be, before we end the podcast. Um, I completely forgot what I was going to talk about. Okay, yeah, so before we end the podcast, um, going back to, like, the whole, like, furry dildo thing. Um, we were talking about this earlier, but we didn't get to elaborate more. Um, you can talk about, about it more. So I have a tattoo on my ass on my left cheek. This is if right. people. I'm probably gonna post this on my YouTube channel. Oh, people that are still they, subbed, they know. They know. Don't they, they know? But anywhere else, they know story. The tattoo on my ass says "Bad Dragon" with a little dragon head. Yeah, and it's pretty. It actually begin. resembles a dragon a lot too. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty good. The like, dragon head is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty. It's faded right now. Yeah. So it's, so it's kind of like uh, if you know, you know type of thing. Cause like if I had a sticker in yeah. my laptop and I went to school, and if someone looks at me weird, and I know that person also does that shit, also knows what the fuck it is. It's kind of like if you know, you know. Cause like oh, you end up okay. if you know what that is, yeah, so yeah. do you. Like yeah. they'll end up looking at you weird because like you you if you know what this is so are you you're into that shit too? It's yeah, I've, oh man. I I remember when it was so fucked up because I remember telling when I lost the game of Uno, <laughs> it was a, for a video of course, right? Okay. And so when I lost the game, you guys were pretty much going against me. I mean, uh, a no. pretty no. Okay, look, watch it. Okay, you don't Do have you to lie to me, you son of a bitch. We I knew you were. All of us worked to, against them, bro. Come on, we yeah, all played against them. At the beginning, no. Then once we saw you were losing and going against David, and you losing more, we were, then we jump you. That's fucked up. But okay, <laughs> not so. I mean, I kind of expected it. I mean, it was for my yeah, channel. Yeah, for I know. Video, I know anybody. Video. I know anybody else wouldn't have done it. Like get the tattoo. So like, I was hoping that I would lose. So I can get it. Oh, yeah, you I wanted to lose. Yeah, because like yes, I don't yes. think most of them. I would have, if it was not anything bad, maybe like a smiley face or something. Yeah, I would have taken it. But like, it's, it's only ass cheek. Not like no one gonna see it. I mean, no one. No, I mean no. One. I mean my wife sees it every day, pretty much. But so he, I mean she thinks it's funny. But um, I remember before like, like the ho- the rule was that we couldn't see the tattoo until it was finished. finished yeah. <laughs> but I did give some rules beforehand i'm like hey okay it can't be bigger than a quarter um can't be bigger than a fucking quarter uh no dicks no What's vaginas uh, yeah, nothing nothing like that and mm-hmm. so so i thought i was in the clear dude i was like there's no way there's nothing else like they can, they can do they can, can, can be fucking. bad but like the nazi sign and yeah. I was like, oh i forget about the nazi sign but okay <laughs> oh, dude, that would have been so funny no bad. i don't think we've done the nazi no. sign no because like no, we're it's respectful it. yeah it's fuck that up. shit yeah. but like it's only like it's funny for the people only people that would know would know what it is and yeah. people that don't yeah. know it's like oh it's like a cool tattoo bad dragon you know haha but people who know know what it is yeah it's yeah i would say it's pretty fucked up but um <laughs> when oh my god dude i remember so i was like pissed off like <laughs> it was that big i was kind of t- it was fucking it's huge dude like it's like oh almost my, like boy. like half of, your ass of, my, cheek. of my ass cheek like almost like spanning to like <laughs> that my, shit's to fucking like funny between my cheeks dude like it's almost like it's fucking lengthy and so i was like dude i said a quarter size tattoo <laughs> and i in the video i was telling uh my friend that did 
the tattoo no it was two of them it was two it was two my friends that did it it was cody he was doing how no yes his main tattoo artist. Cody, yeah he was he was doing like the letters dragon. and shit of bad dragon and then my friend eddie did the, the dragon. dragon head and dude i don't know if i told cody about the rule you did not i i don't think i did so he just went fucking ham dude he fucking he went ham that, that shit, shit fucking hurt dude like that I, I don't have any other tattoos but i do want some they're a little pricey but i in the future hopefully near future cody cody studio tattoos <laughs> yeah dude uh it's man uh, fuck that shit fucking hurt a lot and uh to this day i don't regret it honestly like i don't shit. i don't get looking don't. at it dude, dude what the fuck <laughs> I, I, I recorded it. You recorded it. I mean, I'll sh- I'll show you once the like the camera's off. Like I show you real oh, quick. Oh, if it faded, I still got it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. faded. But um, all right, guys. Well, we'll end it here. So um, you end it here. They, you know, again, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. You know, uh, first, right, episode. Anytime, first episode. Um, it was good catching up with you, David. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll go grab something to eat. You know, something before yeah. drop you off and shit. I mean. Uh-huh. Um, I do not have a name for the podcast podcast yet. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Shit. You leave it on Any your channel. Any ideas? Any ideas? What? Are you gonna leave it on your channel or? Mm. I'll probably what call it the rough podcast or what? Hey, remember that idea? Rough podcast. Rough podcast. Yeah. I'll probably call it that. Yeah. Fuck it. I mean, yep. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys, uh, for listening. Time and time, and uh, be back soon. Be back to the next episode. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>